Hello everyone, this is Harry Gill and in this video we are going to discuss thread pools which is the next topic in concurrency API chapter. If you have directly landed here, I would strongly recommend you to go over the first five parts that I have done of the chapter to get the multi-threading concepts clear. As mentioned before, in this video we are going to discuss about thread pools. Let's see what we have learned so far. So I'm going to play an animation to recap the concepts that we have already seen. So what we have done is we had created a main thread and that starts execution and at some point it's going to create an executor service. The way we created executor service was to use the executor's factory method and call new single thread executor. And as the name of the method suggests, this executor service will be handling only one thread. Now, if the main method has to execute a task, it asks the executor service to execute the task in a different thread. And since this is a single thread executor, it gives the task to the one thread that it manages and the task get executed. Now, let's say the main thread gives four tasks to the executor. Then the executor service makes use of that one thread that it has to execute those tasks. Now, the tasks will be executed one after the other in sequence. They do happen in parallel to the main thread, but there is no concurrency within the task itself. So let's say if you want to have these four tasks to be run in parallel, that's where the thread pools come in play. On the next slide, let's see how the executor service will execute the task using the thread pool. So again, we will start a main thread and at some point in the main thread, we will create an executor service. And in this example, the executor service is handling four threads. Now let's say main thread wants the four tasks to be executed. Then it's going to hand over those four tasks to the executor service and ask it to execute into the threads. The executor service then will take each task and assign a thread to the task. Since the executor service have four different threads that it's managing, all the four threads will execute those tasks in parallel. So all the four tasks that are given to it will also happen in parallel along with the main. So main is the fifth thread in this case. Now, since the executor service is managing more than one thread, the, that is why this is called thread pool. On the next slide, let's see how to create executor service that will manage a thread pool. For the exam, you need to be aware of three different methods. And the first one is new fixed thread pool. In this case, the method will return a executor service that will manage a fixed number of threads and that number of threads will be determined by the parameter that we pass in. So if we pass four, in that case, the executor service will manage four threads and we can pass any integer number to that method and so many number of threads will be managed by that executor service. The second method is new cached thread pool. In this method, we are not passing an integer number, which means we are not predefining the number of threads. So the executor service will create threads on demand. So as soon as it receives a task, it creates a thread and does that task. And if it receives multiple tasks in parallel, that means if one task is running and before it finishes, it receives a, another task, then it will create a second thread. So once the task is finished, the thread stays around for 60 seconds. So for one minute, the thread will stay there. If there are no new tasks coming, then the thread is discarded. Then we get the resources that are tied to the thread back. But if we get a task within 60 seconds, then the executor service will reuse the existing thread. The third method is new scheduled thread pool. So this particular method is used to get scheduled executor service. So as we have seen in the scheduled executor service can be used to schedule a task at some time in the future and it can be a recurring task. To get a scheduled executor service which manages more than one thread, we will use new scheduled thread pool and we'll pass an integer to it. The executor service will manage those many threads. Now let's jump into the IntelliJ to look at the examples. For this video, I'm going to create a new package called part six. And in that package, I'm going to create a class called thread pool example. In the main method, I'm going to define a runnable task. 
at the start of the task i'm going to print start of task with id and for your information every thread that is created a thread id is assigned to it and the way we can get the thread id is we can use thread dot current thread dot get id and then this will give us an id the reason i'm printing id is because we will be running multiple threads at the same time so we want to differentiate different threads let me also put a sleep in the task so that i can simulate it a bit long running task and i'm going to put a sleep of 5 seconds and at the end i'm going to print end of the task with id and again i'm going to print the id i'm going to get a executor service using the first method which is new fixed thread pool and i'm going to give number 4 that means this executor service will manage four different threads and since it's a fixed thread pool it will always have four threads lying around in the try method i'm going to submit the task four times that means i'm giving four tasks to the thread executor to run and in the finally i'm going to shut down the executor and i'm going to save and run the program so now the four tasks have started and all of them started in parallel and as you see it has printed the ids as well and once the five second sleep is over it ends the task so in this case all the four tasks are taking exactly five seconds let me modify the program a little bit so instead of giving a fixed sleep of five seconds to all the tasks i'm going to give a random sleep and for that i'm going to use a random class so i will define a variable of type random at the class level and in the task i'm going to call random dot next int and give 20. so this method will return a random integer number in between 0 to 20. when we submit four tasks all the four tasks will have different sleep times let me also print how long will that task be sleeping for and i'll remove 5000 hard coded value and instead i'm going to put sleep time and then times 1000 and i'll save and run the program and as you see 14 finished and now task 13 finished 15 finished and after 16 after that so this program is a little bit more realistic like now different tasks are taking different times to run now i'm going to modify the program and instead of using fixed thread pool i'm going to use cached thread pool and as we have seen it, we don't need to give any integer number so in this case when the executor starts it doesn't have any threads but as we submit the task it actually creates new threads on the fly and now i'll save and run the program and the output will not be uh, much different it's gonna still run four tasks in parallel with random delays and once all the four of them finishes the program will end now in this case as well all the four tasks that i gave gave to the executor service ran in parallel now let me again modify the program and now let's look into new scheduled thread pool and i'm going to ask it to manage four threads and this method will return scheduled executor service and as we have seen in the previous topic we can actually schedule the task in some time future and in this case i'm going to schedule the first task five seconds later and i'm going to schedule the second task six seconds later the third one seven and the fourth one after eight seconds so i'm just putting some uh, delays in between scheduling and i will now save and run the program and now the program is running and it's waiting for that initial delay for each task and now one by one it's gonna schedule all the four tasks and they have a random sleep all of the four tasks take different time to run and as as soon as they finishes we'll get the end of the task print and once the four tasks finish the program will end now again note here that all the four tasks they have been running in parallel so this is the main concept of thread pools 
to give the task and have all the tasks run in parallel. This is pretty much what I wanted to uh, discuss in this video. If you have liked it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get notified for my upcoming videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.